Researchers here in the UK say they have found the strongest sign yet of possible life beyond our solar system. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured something extraordinary, an intense and sudden flash of energy erupting from Proxima Centauri, the closest known star to our solar system. This event, as mysterious as it is powerful, has stunned astronomers and added a new layer of complexity to our understanding of stellar activity. Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star situated just over 4.2 light years from Earth, is already known for its volatile behavior, but the magnitude and characteristics of this latest flare have pushed the boundaries of current scientific expectations. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. The detection came as part of the James Webb Space Telescope's ongoing survey of nearby stellar systems aimed at studying potential habitable exoplanets and understanding the dynamics of their host stars. Proxima Centauri is particularly significant because it hosts at least two known exoplanets, Proxima b, which lies within the star's habitable zone, and Proxima c, a larger, colder planet farther out. The flash Webb observed, however, was so immense that it briefly overwhelmed several of the telescope's instruments, registering a sharp spike in both optical and infrared wavelengths. This wasn't just another stellar flare. This was an eruption of extraordinary energy that unfolded within minutes, but left a trace strong enough to provoke weeks of data analysis. Proxima Centauri has long been a subject of fascination due to its proximity and the tantalizing possibility that Proxima b might harbor conditions suitable for life. However, its reputation as a flare star, one prone to unpredictable and sometimes violent outbursts, has complicated that vision. The James Webb detection raises critical questions. What caused such a violent flash? Was it a super flare, orders of magnitude stronger than any previously recorded from this star? Or does it hint at a new kind of stellar activity previously unseen in red dwarfs? The flash wasn't just powerful, it was also unusual in its spectral signature. Data analysis revealed a complex composition of ultraviolet and infrared radiation interspersed with a sequence of energy patterns that don't align neatly with known models of stellar flares. Normally, red dwarf flares originate from magnetic field reconnections in the stellar atmosphere, much like solar flares on our own sun. But this event seemed to include not just thermal radiation, but also non-thermal emissions that suggest particle acceleration at nearly relativistic speeds. The James Webb instruments picked up traces of charged particles moving through the stellar wind, colliding with nearby matter and generating bursts of synchrotron radiation, a hallmark of extremely high energy processes. What makes this discovery even more compelling is the timing and direction of the flash. It was pointed almost like a jet and oriented by chance or design toward the inner planetary zone. If Proxima b was on the same orbital phase during the eruption, it would have been directly exposed to the full intensity of the flare. This introduces profound implications for the planet's atmosphere, magnetic field, and potential biosignatures. A flare of this scale could strip away significant portions of an atmosphere if protective magnetospheres are weak or absent. Alternatively, it could induce complex photochemical reactions that create transient biomarkers, making it difficult to distinguish between natural planetary chemistry and life-generated signals. The intensity of the flare as gauged by James Webb's near-infrared spectrometer, was equivalent to tens of thousands of times the energy of the largest solar flares observed in our own system. For a star only a fraction the size of the sun, this is a staggering amount of power. The energy was unleashed in just under three minutes, followed by a longer tail of gradually decaying radiation. Observatories on Earth were immediately alerted, triggering a wave of follow-up observations across multiple wavelengths but none could match the precision and clarity of the data captured by James Webb. Its vantage point at the second Lagrange point, L2, free from Earth's atmospheric interference, allowed it to see details invisible from the ground. This flash adds urgency to the ongoing question about the habitability of red dwarf systems. Red dwarfs make up nearly 75% of all stars in the Milky Way, and many of them are known to host exoplanets in their narrow habitable zones. However, if flaring events like this are common, or even rare but extreme, they could pose significant challenges to life, especially during critical planetary development stages. 
A young Proxima b, exposed to repeated radiation spikes, might have struggled to retain its water or maintain the molecular stability needed for organic life. Even today, any microbial life would need to be shielded underground or within rock layers to avoid DNA damage from ionizing radiation. There is another layer of intrigue. The data suggests that the flare may not have been an isolated event, but part of a longer cyclical buildup of magnetic tension within Proxima Centauri's core. The James Webb instruments recorded subtle changes in the star's brightness and emission spectrum in the days leading up to the flare. These precursors were barely perceptible, but they hint at a possible early warning system, subtle energetic ripples that precede more explosive releases. If such a predictive model could be developed, it would revolutionize the study of stellar weather and provide a framework for evaluating the radiation environments of exoplanets in real time. Astronomers are particularly fascinated by the possibility that this flare may have triggered secondary effects in the surrounding interstellar medium. The immediate environment around Proxima Centauri is not empty. It contains dust, gas, and possibly small comet-like bodies within a sparse debris disk. High-energy radiation like the kind detected could ignite a cascade of photonic interactions in this environment, possibly creating temporary shockwaves or ionization fronts. These secondary phenomena could affect not only planetary orbits, but also observational clarity when viewing the system from afar. Understanding these interactions could help refine the techniques used to scan exoplanet atmospheres for biosignatures. The flare has also led to a re-evaluation of Proxima b's magnetic environment. While Earth's magnetosphere is largely responsible for protecting life from solar flares, the strength and structure of Proxima b's magnetic field remains unknown. If it possesses a magnetic field as strong as or stronger than Earth's, it might offer sufficient protection to preserve its atmosphere even during intense flare events. On the other hand, if it lacks a robust field, the consequences could be catastrophic. Frequent high-energy bombardment could erode the atmosphere and sterilize the surface. Future James Webb observations may help infer this by looking for spectroscopic signs of ionospheric loss, or changes in the planet's albedo after flaring events. The sheer detail of the James Webb data also allows scientists to reconstruct the flare's evolution in near real time. The early moments involved a sharp uptick in ultraviolet light, followed almost immediately by bursts in near-infrared and X-ray bands. Each stage reveals a different layer of the star's atmosphere and magnetic field structure. The models now being developed aim to understand the interplay between stellar convection zones, magnetic loops, and plasma eruptions that feed into such an immense release of energy. It's a forensic analysis of stellar violence, and it's changing how scientists view the life cycles of low-mass stars. This discovery may also have implications for the search for techno-signatures. Any intelligent observers on Proxima b would certainly be aware of such a flare, and it would be a pivotal moment in their planetary history. Conversely, if extraterrestrial civilizations elsewhere are monitoring Earth-like worlds, massive flares from those stars could disrupt biospheres or inspire defensive technologies. Understanding the frequency and scale of such events could inform future SETI searches, including where to look and what energy patterns might indicate advanced civilizations trying to mitigate stellar hazards. In a broader astrophysical context, this flare feeds into the study of magnetic reconnection the mechanism believed to underlie many explosive cosmic phenomena, from solar flares to gamma ray bursts. The opportunity to observe a real-time high-energy flare at such close range gives researchers a unique laboratory for testing theoretical models. Magnetic reconnection remains one of the least understood processes in astrophysics, particularly at scales small enough to influence planetary systems, yet large enough to alter the star's behavior. The data from James Webb may finally bridge that gap, offering clues about how magnetic lines snap, reform, and drive energy outward at near light speeds. Even the way the flare interacted with James Webb sensors is helping refine future observational strategies. The flash caused brief saturation in some detectors, and the calibration team is now studying how to adjust exposure settings for unpredictable high energy events. This kind of feedback loop between discovery and engineering improvement underscores the dynamic nature of space science. Every surprise captured by Webb not only advances theoretical understanding, 
but also improves the telescope's readiness for future surprises. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on the giant flash from Proxima Centauri? Alien signal or natural? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.